Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Devil fruits are objects that are considered to be extremely powerful and rare to find in the One Piece world, and those that eat them gain special powers, but in exchange for this power, the sea will hate you to the point of preventing you from ever being able to swim in it again. Because of the amazing array of fruits that exist in this world, in today's video we're going to talk about all of the canonical fruits presented so far in the work of One Piece, including the three categories of the devil fruit being Paramecia, Logia, and Zoan. During this video, we'll talk about what the abilities of each of these devil fruits are, what they're capable of doing in a nutshell, and who their current users are. Please keep in mind that we're only going to go over the canon fruits, so those that have appeared in movies or filler episodes won't be taken into account during this video. But before we dive into this giant fruit basket, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like, and even subscribe, and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into all of these wonderful and mysterious devil fruits. So my friends, we're going to begin with the 12 Logia type fruits, which are the rarest and most powerful types of fruit in all of the world of One Piece. They are not only known for their great power, but also they are capable of giving the user the ability to create, control, and transform their body into a specific natural element. As we list out these fruits, we're not going to go in any particular order of relevance, so we're going to start first first with the Moko Moko no Mi, otherwise known as the Smoke Smoke Fruit. Now the powers of this fruit are currently in the possession of Vice Admiral Smoker, and through this fruit, Smoker can become capable of turning any part of his body into smoke, allowing him even to create smoke streams or even fly. Now because this is a Logia fruit, it also gives him a natural intangibility, although its opponents can hit him if they're using hockey or some other element capable of nullifying or modifying the smoke. Next we have the Sunasuna no Mi, or the Sand Sand Fruit. Now this fruit is in possession of of former warlord and current cross scale member, Sir Crocodile. This fruit gives him the ability to transform his entire body into sand, and also allows him to manipulate sand around him, and even perform quite lethal attacks with the same sand. Now because of the Logia ability, he does have intangibility, but enemies can strike the user if they use water or some other liquid on their body. It's also susceptible to attacks that are imbued with hockey. Next we have the Marimara no Mi, otherwise known as the Flame Flame Fruit. Now this was formerly used by Pork Gusty Ace, but after losing his life, his blood brother Sabo managed to acquire and eat the fruit and thus obtained the powers of Asus Flames. Now the flame fruit gives the user the ability to control, shoot, and cover their body with scalding flames, in addition to the intangibility that all Logias possesses. But as with all Logia, the user can be hit through attacks imbued with hockey or another hotter element like magma. Our next Logia is the Gorogoro no Mi, also known as the Lightning Fruit. Now this fruit is currently used by the False God Enel, and through this fruit, its bearer can use the lightning element in any way they wish. And even throw powerful lightning bolts at their enemies or to defend themselves from attacks. Due to the nature and energy type of lightning, this fruit also allows the user to amplify their observation hockey, making the user feel the presence of living beings at quite a long distance from their current position. As with all Logia, the bearer of this fruit also has the classic intangibility, but it can be nullified through hockey or even an insulator like rubber. Next we have the Hia Hia no Mi, or the Ice Ice Fruit. This fruit is currently in the possession of former Admiral and current commander of the Blackbeard Pirates, Aokiji. Now the Ice Fruit gives him the ability to freeze anything he touches, allowing him to create swords, spears, and any other weapon he wants during combat. This fruit can be used for other purposes as well, such as freezing the entire sea, allowing the user to walk on the sea surface peacefully without ever having to worry about sinking, and the user can even freeze a person. Unlike many of the other Logia, this fruit's intangibility is a bit strange. The opponent can physically attack the user, causing the fruit user's body to break as if it were ice, but the user can then reconstitute their body as if nothing happened. And like all other Logia, this one has several weaknesses, such as to the element of fire, lava, or any other element that can cause the temperature of the environment to rise. Following the ice fruit, we come to the Yami Yami no Mi, the fruit of darkness. At first it was found by Thatch, the fourth commander of the Whitebeard Pirates, but Teach, who had been laying in wait for many years, managed to steal the fruit and took possession of its power, becoming the user of this darkness. The power of this fruit is capable of swallowing anything it wants with this darkness, even light, which means that this fruit is kind of a black hole on a smaller scale, allowing the user to nullify the power of other devil fruit users with just one touch. Now, unlike other Logia, the fruit of darkness doesn't come with intangibility because of the all-absorbing darkness. In fact, the damage that the user receives goes straight to their body, and not only that, they receive twice the damage that they would have otherwise taken. Following our darkness fruit, we come to the Pika Pika no Mi, otherwise known as the Light Light or Glint Glint fruit. Now, its user is Borsalino, the Admiral Kizaru, and with 
with this fruit, he becomes able to coat his body completely with light and even is able to move at the speed of light itself. But one drawback, even though the speed of light is incredibly high, the user can only move in a straight line and attack through light paths that they draw. But even so, the user is still able to use light in their attacks. With this power, the user can shoot light projectiles, bolts, and even create weapons like swords, enabling them to face opponents who use swords or other weapons. And just like the other Logia fruits, the Fruit of Light has an intangibility, where only the users of hockey or an element opposite of the fruit can physically hit the user. Next, we come to one of the greatest offensive powers of all the Logia, and that's the Magu Magu no Mi, or the Magma Magma Fruit. This fruit is used by Admiral Akainu, and the fruit gives Sakazuki the ability to transform his body into magma, and it also has the power to shoot large amounts of lava at his opponents. The heat emitted by this element is so great that the user can even pierce someone's body with a single magma covered punch, making it one of the most offensive powered fruits in the world. And its user not only possesses intangibility, but those who don't use hockey and physically hit the user have their hand or body part touch burned, making it impossible for users without hockey to ever face the owner of the Magu Magu no Mi. Our ninth Logia is quite curious and is the Numa Numa no Mi, or the Fruit of the Marsh. Now this is a fruit currently being used by the pirate Caribou and has the ability to completely encase his body in a swamp, where he's able to sink anyone who has fallen into a swamp's radius. Not only does this power allow someone to absorb people and objects, the user can make use of kind of a machine gun and shoot swap projectiles in the direction of their opponents, causing them to be wounded by the pressure of the projectile's impact. The intangibility offered by this fruit to its user is also a little bit interesting because whenever they are struck by those without hockey, the striking blow is then pulled in and they are trapped until the user decides to let them go, functioning much as if it was quicksand. Our next fruit is the Gasu Gasu no Mi, otherwise known as the Gas Gas Fruit, and this fruit is currently in possession of the famous scientist known as Caesar Clown. Through this fruit, he is able to coat his body entirely in gas, where he can float and infiltrate tiny spaces as if he was made of the gas itself. In addition to that, the bearer of this fruit is capable of producing any type of gas, making it possible to create explosions, poisonous gases, neutralize poisonous gases that are in the area, and the user can even take the oxygen out of a certain area, thus suffocating their enemies. Now, the intangibility of this fruit works in the normal way, making it impossible for users without Without hockey to reach them. Our next fruit is the Yuki Yuki no Mi, otherwise known as the Snow Snow Fruit. Now at first, this fruit was used by Monet, but after she lost her life on Puck Hazard, the location of this devil fruit is still unknown. Now the user of this fruit can utilize snow during combat, making the environment much more icy, and release ice gas from their mouth to freeze their enemies or even create walls of ice. Now just like other Logias, this fruit also has the ability to render the user intangible. Only being able to hit by hockey or some other heat-related power can they injure the user of the snow snow fruit. And our final Logia fruit for this list is the Shin Shin no Mi, or the Fruit of the Forest. Now this is a rather new Logia fruit that we were introduced to in Wano, and it's used by Admiral Ryukugyu, and it gives this marine the ability to transform his body and the entire environment around him into a forest, which can eventually attack enemies through his trees and vines that he creates. The user can also use roots to be able to absorb nutrients from his opponent's bodies and add those nutrients to their own, allowing the user to not need to feed themselves directly. The intent the tangibility that this Logia provides is quite a bit different than all the others, in that the user can be physically hit, but they can regenerate like a plant, as long as the attack is not imbued with hockey. So now that we've covered the 12 Logia type fruits, let's move on to the Zoan, which are nothing more than fruits capable of transforming the user into another living being or creature, which also imparts some of the characteristics of that animal or creature to the user. Starting off our Zoan list, we're going to begin with the Hibihibi no Mi model Anaconda. Now this is used by Boa Hancock's sister, Sandersonia, and she has the ability to transform her body into a full or hybrid anaconda at will, allowing her to use poison for her prey in addition to the great strength she gains by crushing from this transformation. Continuing with the snake theme, we'll also talk about the Hibi Hibi no Mi. Now this was eaten by Marigold, Hancock's other sister, and she can transform into a huge cobra at will, something very similar to a sister's fruit, giving her much the same abilities such as great strength and the ability to use poison or venom. To round out our snake category, we'll finish with the Hibi Hibi no Mi, model Yamata no Orochi. Now this fruit is used by Kurozomi Orochi, but after his death and he lost his life, the fruit has no other bearer, and we may in fact see this fruit show up later in the One Piece universe. But through this fruit, this user is able to transform into kind of an eight-headed dragon or hydra. Through this multi-headed transformation, user gets a very special ability that few other devil fruits have, in that the user gains eight extra lives. And until all eight 
white heads are cut off, the user is able to restore themselves until they lose their life for good. Now, much like any other Zoan, the user acquires great strength, speed, and resistance to attack, putting that together with the additional lives. If this fruit were ever to fall into the hands of an adequate user, the person would become a formidable opponent indeed. Moving on to the Human Human or Hito Hito category, we're going to start with the Hito Hito no Mi model Daibutsu. Now, this fruit was eaten by the former fleet admiral Sengoku, and it gives the user the ability to transform into the statue of a giant golden Buddha, making them gain absurd strength, as well as the ability to create a kind of aura around their hand, making it possible to create an aura of impact. Although we may not have gotten to see all of Sengoku's full strength, this fruit is a mythical zone, thus it's one of the rarest zones in existence, possessing one of the greatest strengths and endurance of all the zone fruits. Next, we have the Hito Hito no Mi model Human. Now this fruit was eaten by Tony Tony Chopper, and through this fruit, Chopper managed to become a hybrid of a reindeer and a human, obtaining the ability to communicate like a human, and even gaining reasoning ability just like a human being. Now, this fruit in the hands of a human would be absolutely worthless, but for an animal like Chopper, it allowed him to become a much more intelligent being, having goals of his own, and as we've seen, he is set to become the greatest doctor in the world. Then we have the Hito Hito no Mi model Oniyundo. At first, this seemed to be just a wolf in the country of Wano, but after eating this human's fruit, he was capable of becoming a fully-fledged yokai monk, enabling him to achieve the appearance of a human, as well as the ability to communicate. The bearer of this fruit gains great strength, speed, and intelligence, and is very similar to the fruit of the ordinary human. But this fruit turns the user into a full human rather than a hybrid. And the final human fruit that we'll talk about in the Zoan category is the Hito Hito no Mi model Nika. Undoubtedly, this is the most important fruit of our entire story of One Piece, because this is the fruit of the main character, Monkey D. Luffy. Now, of course, this fruit was historically known as the Gomu Gomu no Mi, a name given to it by the Gorosei to hide the true nature of this fruit. Through this fruit, the user can obtain a body made entirely of rubber, allowing it to stretch and become much more resistant to physical attacks, and even makes it possible for the user to do things that ordinary people just can't do with their body, such as swelling up their arms and legs to gigantic sizes. With the awakening of this fruit, the user can obtain the complete power of the fruit, becoming the sun god Nika. The resistance of the user increases a lot, besides giving them the immense, ridiculous power of total freedom, only being limited by their imagination. Now that we have the human class of the Zoan fruit covered, we're now going to move on to man's best friend, or the dog type models. And we're going to start with the Ino Ino no Mi model Shakal. This fruit was eaten by Shaka, one of the royal guards of the Alabasta Kingdom, and he can transform into a dog, both in hybrid and full form. And through this fruit, the user has incredible increase in basic abilities, such as strength, endurance, and speed. After that, we have the Ino Ino no Mi model Dachshund. The great scientist Dr. Vegapunk somehow managed to make a cannon obtain the powers of this fruit, giving him the ability to transform into some kind of cannon dog. This fruit apparently just gave the cannon intelligence and mobility, making it possible for it to shoot projectiles at its enemies while moving, making its attacks much more versatile in battle. Next, we have the Ino Ino no Mi model Wolf. Now, this is the werewolf fruit that was ingested by Jabra, one of the members of CP9. And as its name suggests, he can transform into a werewolf, but he can also transform into a full common wolf. This fruit gives the user very sharp claws and fangs, as well as the incredible increase in speed, strength, and even reflexes, making them much more agile during their attacks against opponents. Following our werewolf fruit, we have the Ino Ino no Mi model Okuchi no Makami. Now, this is a mythical zone fruit used by Yamato, and through this fruit, its user can transform into a wolf deity. Being a mythical zone gives this user very special powers. Through this fruit, the user can create an icy breath and even create a layer of ice around their body to defend themselves against attacks or to even coat their weapons with it, further strengthening their ability to hit their opponents. Our next mythical zone, also in the dog category, is the Ino Ino no Mi model Nine-Tailed Fox. Now, this fruit was eaten by Katarina Devon, a commander of the Blackbeard Pirates, and this fruit is a mythical zone that gives the user the ability to transform into a nine-tailed fox. When the user assumes the form of the fox, they can also further transform themselves into any person they wish, being able to acquire the appearance and even the voice of the person being able to act perfectly like the copied individual. Moving on from our category of man's best friends, we come to the Kami Kami no Mi model turtle. Now this was eaten by Peckhams, one of the members of Big Mom's pirates, and he was able to transform into a giant turtle, giving him extreme durability as powerful of that as a diamond, enabling him to defend himself against projectiles and even explosions. 
Another interesting and much more ancient fruit was the Kumukuma no Mi model Rose Miguel Grauva Jelly. Now this is used by Black Maria, one of the members of the Tobi Ropo, and with this fruit, Black Maria can transform herself into a prehistoric giant spider, giving her incredible strength and mobility. It also gives her several spider legs in which she can wrap around and trap her opponents, as well as enabling her to use web to trap her opponents while she takes their lives. Next we have the Mogamoga no Mi, or Mole Fruit. Now this was used by Ms. Mary Christmas, one of the members of Baroque Works all the way back in the Alabasta arc. With this fruit, she can completely transform into a mole and easily dig holes in the ground, gaining great ability in a subterranean fashion. Also among our Zoan class, we also have a couple of insect models, one of which is the Mushi Mushi no Mi model Kabuto Mushi. Now this is used by Kabu, one of the small members of the Tontata tribe, and with this fruit, he is able to transform into a beetle that can fly freely, and he also gains an extra pair of arms that he can use to attack his opponents. A second insect type fruit that we've seen is the Mushi Mushi no Mi model Suzumi Bachi. Now this was eaten by Beyond, another member of the Tantata tribe, and she gained the ability to transform into a wasp. Not only did it grant her wings and a stinger, this fruit also allows her to talk to wasps and use them as an attack. Continuing from our insects, we now come to some ancient zones that are based on different types of dinosaurs. And we'll start off with the Rio Rio no Mi model Allosaurus. Now this fruit is currently in the possession of X Drake, and he can freely transform into an Allosaurus and even into a full or hybrid form as well. Each of these transformations gives him great strength, endurability, speed, and drastically increases his size. And the user also acquires very sharp claws and fangs capable of injuring almost any opponent easily. Another ancient zone we have is the Rio Rio no Mi model Brachiosaurus. This fruit is used by Queen, one of the commanders of the Beast Pirates, and he can freely transform into a gigantic dinosaur and increase his physical strength, as well as using several powerful techniques that are due to his immense body weight. Next, we have the Rio Rio no Mi model Spinosaurus. This fruit is used by Page one, one of the Tobiropos, and he is able to transform into another species of Zynosaur, being the Spinosaurus, one that is quite strong and can rival many of the straw hats, giving him incredible speed, strength, and defense, as well as sharp claws and fangs. Page One's sister also has an ancient zoan that goes by the name of the Rio Rio no Mi model Pachycephalosaurus. Now this is used by the Topiropo Ulti, who often loves to call Pepe by his nickname. But Ulti, being the user of this fruit, can transform into a Pachycephalosaurus and acquire a bone helmet, which is very thick on her forehead, making it possible for the user to strike very strong blows with just their forehead. In its full use, the user can transform into a complete Pachycephalosaurus, giving them incredible mobility and also allowing them to run long distances without getting tired. Rounding out our list of ancient zoans that are dinosaurs, we have the Rio Rio no Mi model Pterodon. Now this fruit was eaten by King, Kaido's right-hand man, and through this fruit, the user gets the ability to transform into a pterodactyl that can fly, as well as gaining a large beak that can easily pierce and impale their opponents. The user also acquires great strength, making it possible for them to carry allies or enemies in their claws while in their hybrid or full transformation. Following our dinosaur models of zone, we come to a couple of cat-type models, the first of which is the Neko Neko no Mi model Sabertooth. Now this is used by the strongest of the Topi Robo, named Who's Who, who can transform into a Sabertooth Tiger, allowing them to get extremely strong and powerful fangs that are able to tear their opponent's skin off easily. Now besides gaining claws on their hands and feet, this also enables them to cut objects and enemies with them, giving the user a great advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. A other cat-style model of Zoan is the Neko Neko no Mi model Leopard. Now this was eaten by Rob Lucci, former member of CP9 and current leader of CP0, and the user of this fruit has the ability to transform into a hybrid or complete form of a leopard. This empowers the user with great physical strength, speed, and endurance, as well as giving the user much greater mobility and the ability to use claws and fangs during combat. Following our cat style fruits, we come to a very interesting model that we saw back in Punk Hazard, and that was the Saraso no Mi model Axolotl. This fruit had been ingested by Smiley, a biochemical weapon of mass destruction with which Smiley can transform themselves into a giant kind of salamander with the appearance of jelly. After Smiley, we have a few bird type fruit that we can talk about, the first of which being the Tori Tori no Mi model Albatross. Now this fruit is used by the journalist and owner of the world newspaper, Big News Morgan, who can turn himself into an albatross bird, enabling him to fly at high speed. We've seen throughout the work of One Piece, he chooses to stay in his hybrid form, much as a large bird, thus keeping his full identity secret. Our next bird-style
female fruit is the Tori Tori no Mi model falcon. The user of this fruit is Pell, one of the royal guards of the Alabasta Kingdom. And with this fruit, he is able to transform into a full hawk or human hawk hybrid. With this fruit, he gains the ability to fly and can even capture enemies with his sharp, strong claws. And he also has a very sharp beak to be able to hurt his opponents with. And of course, we can't talk about any bird zoan type devil fruits without talking about the Tori Tori no Mi model Phoenix. The current user of this fruit is, of course, Marco, the right arm of Whitebeard, being considered one of the most power mythical Zoan fruits in our story of One Piece. Because through this fruit, the bearer can transform into the mythological Phoenix, being able to choose which part of his body he wants to transform. Now, the bearer of this fruit also has the ability to use blue flames, which make them practically immortal because of the high regeneration that the flames provide, as well as allowing the user to heal other people. But the flames aren't offensive and aren't able to hurt anyone. Another possibility for the most powerful mythical Zoan fruit would be the Uo Uo no Mi model Seryu. This is one of the most powerful fruits in the work of One Piece, and the Uo Uo no Mi was eaten by Kaido, who gains the ability to transform into a mythological dragon that possesses unusual and uncanny strength. The user of this fruit can transform into a large dragon with immense destructive power, and because it's a mythical zone, its bearer gains an increase in strength, speed, and durability in its hybrid form. Another mythical zone fruit that we've seen recently is the Uma Uma no Mi model Pegasus. This fruit was recently used in the manga by Stronger, the horse and mascot of the Blackbeard Pirates. With it, Stronger creates wings and takes the form of the mythical Pegasus horse from Greek mythology. So far, Stronger has only demonstrated his ability to fly, nothing more than that, but because it's a mythical zone, this fruit probably gives him increased strength, durability, and speed. Another fruit in the horse family is the Uma Uma no Mi model horse. This was ingested by Pierre, the bird of the ancient god Skypea, and with it, Pierre becomes able to transform himself into a complete horse. Continuing on with the cattle theme, we come to the Ushi Ushi no Mi model bison. Now this fruit was used by Dalton, the leader of Drum Island, and with its powers, he gains the ability to transform into an ox, increasing his mobility, endurance, and strength. Another fruit in that same class is the Ushi Ushi no Mi model Minotaur. Now this fruit was eaten by a cow that looks after the security of Impel Down Prison. This cow is called a Minotaurus, who by eating the fruit became a kind of Minotaur cow, increasing in strength, stamina, and speed. And it's also likely that this fruit was awakened, as we noted that they had some extra powerful abilities that weren't seen in normal Zoan fruits. The final fruit of this class is the Ushi Ushi no Mi model Giraffe. Now this is a devil fruit that was ingested by Kaku, one of the members of CP0. And with this fruit, he gains the ability to transform into a giraffe, giving him the ability to use the long net and full transformation to be able to hit enemies over a long area. In addition to the various techniques that he can utilize while in full giraffe transformation, this gives him great physical endurance, enormous strength, and a much greater range for his sword attacks. One of the more interesting ways we've seen a Zoan fruit used, and also foreshadowed the immense intellect of Dr. Vegapunk, was the use of the Zozo no Mi. This was the fruit that Vegapunk was able to feed to Funkfried, an inanimate object and a sword. But due to the fact that this sword was able to quote unquote consume the fruit, the sword now has the ability to transform partially or fully into an elephant. Rounding out our list of Zoans before we move on to the artificial Zoan smile fruits is the Zozo no Mi model Mab. This fruit is currently in the possession of Jack the Drought of the Hundred Beasts and the Beast Pirates. Through this fruit, he gains the ability to transform into ancestral ancient mammoth, which in turn receives unusual physical strength, enabling him to use his great weight to crush enemies. Along with the size and weight increase, he also gains great strength. Although he should be able to defeat enemies, Jack hasn't really been shown to win very much with this powerful upgrade. Now that we've covered the complete Zoan class, we're going to take a moment to talk about the Smile Fruits. Now this is a class of Devil Fruits that was created by Dr. Vegapunk, and as well as Caesar Clown. Most of the users of these fruits are from the Beast Pirates, but there is one that does stand out, and that is the fruit that was consumed by Kazuki Momonosuke, the boy who ingested a smile or failed devil fruit, which ended up being an exact copy of Kaido's, where we learned recently in the manga that the only reason why Vegapunk considered it a failure was that the fruit turned out to produce a pink dragon rather than the original blue. Unlike the normal Zoan fruits, the smiles seem to pair an animal with the user. So rather than a person turning into the animal, there was an animal part to their body, much to very comedic effect as we saw throughout the Wano arc. 
Now, before we leave our Zoan class, we do want to mention that there are some fruits that we have seen that have not been specifically named. So we want to make sure that we address these. For example, the case of Vice Admiral Dalmatian, who guessed a fruit that turns him into, you guessed it, a Dalmatian. And besides him, we also have the fruit of Onigumo, another Vice Admiral who holds a fruit that grants him three new pairs of arms. Another unnamed fruit is that of Ipoida, a great pirate from the New World who allied himself with Whitebeard's gang, where he becomes able to transform into a giant creature. And we also have the fruit of the Mino Koala, one of the four prison beasts of Impel Down, where he ate a fruit that turns him into a koala. In addition to the two guards we've already mentioned in the Beasts of Impel Down, we also have a Mino Rhinoceros, who ate a nameless fruit that grants him the ability to transform into a rhinoceros. And we also have the Mino Zebra, another member of the Beasts who ate a fruit that is nameless, but grants him a zebra transformation. To complete the Beasts of Impel Down, we also have the Mino Chihuahua, who possesses the power of the Chihuahua fruit. So with all that, my friends, we now wrap up our Zoan type fruit list. And for the rest of our list, we're going to talk about the Paramecia style devil fruit, who give their use an ability to modify their body, their structure, produce substances, or manipulate the environment with their respective power. In other words, these are the most varied abilities that don't involve connections with natural elements or with transformations of animals or mythological beings. Starting off our Paramecia list, we're going to start with the Bara Bara no Mi, or Chop Chop fruit. This fruit was eaten by Buggy, who gains the ability to split his body in as many different ways as he pleases, and he can split his limbs and they can float around without any difficulty. It also allows the bear to become invincible against cutting attacks, where their body is able to split before the blade even reaches it, making them immune to a swordsman attack. Next we have the Bomo Bomo no Mi, the human bomb fruit. This fruit is used by Mr. Five of Baroque Works, and the fruit allows him to make any part of his body explode, be it hair, mucus, or even breath, turning the user into a living bomb. Next we have the Kilo Kilo no Mi, the kilogram fruit. This is currently in the possession of Mrs. Valentine of Baroque Works, and this fruit allows her to alter her body weight by 1 to 10,000 pounds, making her float or become an immovable object. Continuing on with the Baroque Works, we have the Dodo Dodo no Mi, or the Wax Wax Fruit. This is the fruit of Mr. Three from Baroque Works, and grants him the power to produce wax from his body in any way he likes, which is very similar to a Logia, but the bearer has no intangibility. Another Baroque Works fruit is the Mani Mani no Mi, otherwise known as the fruit of cloning. Now at first, this fruit was owned by Kurozomi Higarashi, but after she lost her life, it somehow passed to Bon Clay, Mr. Two, a former member of the organization known as Baroque Works. This fruit grants the user the ability to transform into anyone they've ever seen, and the cloning is so perfect that it even copies the voice of the person being copied. Next we have the Togi Togi no Mi, or Fruit of Thorns. Now this is in the possession of Ms. Double Finger from Baroque Works, and it allows the user to grow thorns anywhere on their body, something very similar to a pork Porcupine Thorn. And finishing up our Baroque Works fruit list, we have the Supa Supa no Mi, or Fruit of the Blade. This is used by Daz Bones, or Mr. One, and it grants the user the ability to completely transform their body into steel and create blades from their arms, turning their body into something much, much stronger. And it also allows them to use their body parts as a sword, making it nearly impossible for weak pirates to hurt him because his body is fully made of solid steel. Moving on to the next fruit in our list, we come to the Supa Supa no Mi, or Fruit of the Smooth Skin. Now this was used by El Vita, the very first villain to appear in the anime. And with this fruit, she gains the ability to make her skin so smooth that any strikes or attacks thrown at her will be deflected because of exactly how smooth her skin is. Next, we have the Baku Baku no Mi, otherwise known as the chewing fruit. And this fruit is currently in possession of Wapple. Now, this gives Wapple the ability to eat anything, be it rust, metal, wood, anything except for sea stone shackles. Once he eats the material, he can then fuse these materials into his body, creating a very strong armor. Now this fruit has had some greater significance in our story because through all the various materials that Wapple has eaten, he was able to end up creating a new material called Wapple Metal, a material that Frankie has used to great effect in making the Frankie Shogun and integrating it further into the Thousand Sunny. After that, we have the Ori Ori no Mi, or the Cage Fruit. This is used by Hina, a marine captain, and gives her the ability to bind her enemies in some kind of an iron shackles or prison, which pass through the user's body and then bind the enemy. It takes away mobility and freedom of your opponents, allowing weaker enemies to be defeated easily. But against more powerful enemies, the power of this fruit becomes much more ineffective. Our next fruit is one that could honestly be one of the strongest fruits in the universe. However, it is owned by somebody who really doesn't use it to the greatest extent it could be. And this, of course, is the Noro Noro no Mi, or Slow Slow Fruit. This fruit is currently owned by Foxy, and when he uses his powers, he can slow down anything he wants, giving its bearer a great advantage during combat. But again, because Foxy Foxy is not the most savvy user of the fruit, he's never been able to use it to the greatest effect that it could be. 
The next fruit on our list is the Doa Doa no Mi, otherwise known as the Door Door fruit. Now this fruit is owned by Bluno, one of CP9's agents. And with it, Bluno can create doors through a pocket dimension anywhere he wishes, making that there is no stone ever in his path. Through this fruit, the bearer can enter a doorway and is then able to enter their own pocket dimension and then becomes invisible to everyone and then further open another portal in another place, allowing him to move between locations without ever having to take a step. Another fruit that's in possession of CP9 members is the Awa Awa no Mi, otherwise known as the Bubble Bubble Fruit. This is a fruit that is owned by Khalifa. With this devil fruit, she is able to wipe away any dirt and powers from whoever she wants, causing her opponent to take a different form and lose their innate abilities. Moving on to a couple of fruits owned by Marines, we have the Berry Berry no Mi, or the Berry Fruit. This is used by Very Good, one of the soldiers in the Marines, and with this power, he becomes able to split his body into something similar to that of Buggies. Only in turn, Very Good can transform himself into a bunch of different spheres. Another and quite frightening fruit owned by the Marines is the Sabi Sabi no Mi, otherwise known as the Rust Rust Fruit. Now this is used by a Marine soldier by the name of Shu, and it grants the user the ability to rust anything they touch, so much that it was the culprit for rusting one of Zoro's earlier swords in the story. And the final Marine-owned Paramecia fruit that we'll talk about is the Shari Shari no Mi, otherwise known as the Wheel Wheel Fruit. This fruit is currently in possession of Sharinguru, one of the captains of the Marines, and allows him to turn his arms and legs into wheels, giving him great mobility and quick speed. Moving on from our Marine-controlled Paramecia fruit, the rest of our list will be composed of fruits possessed by notable characters throughout our story of One Piece. So our next fruit is the Horohoro no Mi, or Ghost Ghost Fruit, and it was eaten and controlled by Perona. With the fruit, she can summon little ghosts, which when they come into contact with a person's body, they turn them into a completely negative being, meaning that they feel the worst thoughts ever, going so far as to taking away a person's will to live. Perona is also capable of creating several other kinds of ghosts that can be used to scare their enemies or even use a ghost to hurt a specific enemy. Moving on to another fruit that we were introduced to during the Thriller Bark arc, we come to the Suke Suke no Mi, or the Fruit of Invisibility. At first, this was into the possession of Absalom, but after he lost his life, the fruit passed on to Shiryu of the Rain. This devil fruit gives the user the ability to become invisible to anyone. The power further extends to the owner's belongings, such as swords, weapons, or even clothes, making it possible for a swordsman to remain invisible while striking their opponents without being detected. And of course, the main Paramecia fruit that was featured in Thriller Bark was the Kage Kage Aginomi, or Shadow Fruit. This fruit is still currently in Gekko Moria's possession, and it gives him the ability to remove the shadow of anyone he wants. After that, he can transfer the shadow to a person of a corpse and then revive it, or even use the shadow on himself to empower his moves. Through the power of this fruit, it makes it possible for the bear to get stronger and larger, giving them an incredible boost in their powers, becoming stronger physically depending on the amount of souls they ingest. Our next fruit has recently reappeared in the manga and is the Niku Niku no Mi, or Paw Paw Fruit. Now this is used by Bartholomew Kuma, who is able to repel anything he touches, and it can send a person to any location of the bear's choosing. It also can take away people's pain and remove constructs such as suffering and physical damage, creating a large paw-shaped bubble that can then be turned and given to a different person. It was of course this fruit that facilitated the legendary and epic nothing happened scene with Zoro when he took the pain from Luffy after that epic fight. Our next fruit is the Merimeru no Mi, or the Fruit of Love. Now the current user of this fruit is Boa Han. Hancock, who can petrify anyone by means of her attacks or physical touches. The only thing necessary is that they find her attractive and is charmed by her beauty. Recently, Blackbeard showed up on Amazon Lily in order to try and steal this fruit from Hancock. But what was brought up is that this fruit may be ineffective for people who are considered ugly or lack the ability to charm others with their beauty. So it seems that only Boa Hancock is able to make the most effective use of this fruit. Our next fruit is one that seemed like a Logia at first, but turned out to be another Paramecia and that is the Doki Doki no Mi, or Poison Fruit. This fruit is currently in the possession of Impel Downs Warden and Head Jailer Magella, and through it, he can manipulate and attack poison on anyone. And Magella can even form different kinds of animals and constructs by means of this poison, and the bearer can even transform into a sort of a poison creature, managing to take the life of anyone that they touch while in this monstrous form. But again, it is something that is exuded from his body rather than him becoming intangible like a Logia user. Our next fruit is the Horohoro no Mi, or Hormone Fruit, and it is in the possession of one of the leaders of the Revolutionary Army, Imporio Ivankov. Through the powers of this fruit, Ivankov can activate hormones in their body or the bodies of other people that they touch. Through this power, they're able to 
reanimate the body or give energy or even change the gender of the person that they act upon. The next paramecia on our list is the Choki Choki no Mi, or Cut Fruit. Its user is the revolutionary Inazuma, who gains the power to transform his arms and legs into scissors, being able to cut and shape structures in any way he wants, as if his opponents were made of simply paper. Following our Cut Fruit, we come to the Fuwa Fuwa no Mi, or Fruit of Flight, or Floating. The owner of this fruit is Shiki the Golden Lion, and through this power, he can float freely through the air or even float large islands and constructs in his ship, making anything he touches fly by his own will. Our next fruit is the Washu Washu no Mi, or washing and drying fruit. With this fruit that is owned by Vice Admiral Suru, she can wash and dry her enemies and immobilize them, turning them into clothes. Suru even makes fun of this power by hanging her enemies out to dry. From washing and drying, we move on to the hardest substance that we know, being the diamond. And this fruit we're talking about is the Kira Kira no Mi, or diamond fruit. This fruit is used by Diamond Josu, one of the commanders of the Whitebeard Pirates. And with it, he becomes able to coat his entire body in diamond hard enough to withstand the most severe attacks, becoming an impregnable shield against nearly any foe. And speaking of the Whitebeard Pirates, we couldn't complete this list without talking about the Gura Gura no Mi, or Quake Quake Fruit. The former user of this fruit was none other than Edward Newgate, otherwise known as Whitebeard. But after losing his life, it was stolen by Marshal D. Teach, also known as Blackbeard. Through this fruit, it gives him the ability to create powerful shockwaves and earthquakes, capable of changing the layout of a place, and is considered one of the most destructive devil fruits in the world. In addition to the tremendous offensive power of this fruit, it also gives the user the ability to coat their attacks in these vibrations, becoming a very powerful attack and defense when used on their opponents. Following, we have the Shiro Shiro no Mi, or the Fruit of the Castle. This is currently in the possession of Capone Beige, one of the supernovas and allies to the Straw Hats. And through this fruit, he transforms his body into a complete castle human. The power of this fruit allows him to take other people into his castle and shelter there. And the bear is able to also move around while in castle transformation, becoming a walking fortress. Next, we come to the Wada Wada no Mi, or Straw Straw Fruit. The current user of this fruit is Basil Hawkins. And with this fruit, the user can transform into a large scarecrow that also has the ability to transfer injuries and blows to another person by making straw dolls that act almost as if they're voodoo dolls by the user of the straw fruit. Moving on to another supernova, and one of the most important fruits in our work of One Piece, we come to the Ope Ope no Mi, or Fruit of Surgery. This fruit is currently used by Law, and the fruit allows him to create a field or room around himself, where in this field, he becomes almost a god, being able to cut the limbs and organs of his opponents, as well as able to teleport different objects by using his shambles technique. Recently, we saw the awakening of this fruit, where he could use a Kroom, or K-Room technique, where the user is able to apply the effects of their surgical room to a specific object allowing the user to apply room's powers throughout a sword or another object, and that object can stretch and penetrate, breaking through the defenses of any opponent he wishes. Next, we have the Matomato no Mi, or target fruit. The user of this fruit is Vander Decket, who, by touching some, can mark that person as a target, and no matter how far away he is, he can always accurately hit the target that is in his sights. This fruit was used to ransom Shirohoshi, trying to blackmail her into marrying him. Our next fruit is slightly underrated, but was very clutch in our battle for Wano, and that is the Fuku Fuku no Mi, or Garment Fruit. When used by Kinemon, he becomes able to wear any type of clothing for as long as he wants, but from the moment he takes off his clothes, they are instantly gone. This fruit only serves to be able to camouflage him in specific situations or just change his appearance in an ordinary environment. But when we saw the Alliance making landfall on Onigashima, he was able to make a clothing store where he was able to clothe every person coming onto the island with a suit that would make them blend into the Beast Pirates. Our next fruit is rather underwhelming and could be considered one of the lowest power paramecia of the group. And this is the Jockey Jockey no Mi, or Jacket Jacket Fruit. This is worn by Kelly Funk, and when wearing it, he gains the ability to transform his body into a jacket to dress others, enabling him to deliver blows to his opponent or even choke them. Among our list of paramecia, there are few that are as disgusting as our next fruit, and this is the Beta Beta no Mi, or Sticky Fruit. This fruit is currently owned by Treble, where he can control a sticky, slimy substance that traps his opponents, hindering their movements and giving their user an incredible advantage during battle. 
Next, we have the Zushi Zushi no Mi, the fruit of gravity. This fruit is used by Admiral Fujitora, and he can control gravity as he sees fit, oppressing his opponents with heavy gravity, sending his enemies flying into the sky, or even summoning giant meteors onto the spot to cause a huge explosion. Next, we have the Bari Bari no Mi, or barrier fruit. At first, it was used by Kurazomi Semimaru, but after he lost his life, its fruit found its way into the hands of Bartolomeo, who was the first one to hold the fruit, obtaining all the powers of the previous user. With the barrier fruit, this gives Bartolomeo the ability to create barriers so rigid that not even Odin could break through it. This barrier can only be penetrated from above or with teleportation powers. Next, we have the Nui Nui no Mi, the sewing fruit. This fruit is used by Leo, one of the members of the Tantata tribe, and with this fruit, he can sew things together and put them together as if nothing happened. Next, we come to the Giro Giro no Mi, or fruit of the vision. With this fruit that is currently owned by Viola of the Dresrosa Kingdom, she can have clairvoyance and is capable of seeing through literally and figuratively everything over for any distance she wishes. The fruit gives her the ability to not only see in people's minds, but also create constructs out of thoughts that can be used in an offensive manner. Our next fruit is another one of those that were it in the hands of a more competent user, it could be a rather broken and world-ending fruit. And this is the fruit of the Auto Autonomy, or the fruit of art. This is currently owned by Jora of the Don Quixote family, and by touching someone, she could transform any object or person into art, immobilizing her opponents easily, and it is only broken if the opponent uses hockey or the use or undoes it. Following that same line of thought of completely broken and unbelievably power fruits, we come to the Hobby Hobby no Mi, or Toy Fruit. The owner of this fruit is Sugar, and it is an amazingly powerful fruit. For when Sugar touches anyone, she is able to turn them into a toy. And not only that, she is able to then make a contract where the most sadistic thing happens. Sugar is able to take away the memories of not only the person who is the toy, but all those who had ever known them, thus taking away the memory and the life of whomever she's touched. As an added benefit, the Hobby Hobby no Mi also makes the user immortal, thus making Sugar an eternal child. Our next fruit was one of the earlier fruits we saw in the story, and we're hoping to see when this character might reappear. And this is the fruit, the Bani Bani no Mi, or Spring Spring Fruit. This fruit is currently in the possession of Bellamy, and this allows him to turn his limbs into springs, increasing his mobility incredibly, allowing him to jump from one side to another at incredible speeds, bouncing off the walls. Since we haven't seen Bellamy in quite a long time, we wonder if this is a fruit that might have had an awakening, and if Bellamy might show up later in our story before our whole saga finally wraps up for One Piece. Our next fruit is the Buki Buki no Mi, or Fruit of Weapons. This is currently in the possession of Baby Five, who can turn any part of her body into a weapon, be it a cannon, machine gun, pistol, or even a bazooka. This fruit gives a very versatile range for the owner in combat. Another fruit that, although gives great mobility, is kind of underpowered is the Guru Guru no Mi, or Propeller Fruit. Buffalo is the one that holds this power and by activating his abilities, he can create propellers all over his body, enabling him to fly in any way he wishes. But when one considers flight being a rather limited ability in the world of One Piece, although it may seem underpowered, the mobility it grants is quite good. The next fruit we have is one very similar to one we had earlier in our list, and this is the Pamu Pamu no Mi, or Breakup Fruit. This devil fruit was eaten by Gladys, and it allows the user to make their own body or any inorganic object explode, thus being able to detonate any area that was touched by the user. Following along in our theme of fruits that have very similar powers to ones that were earlier mentioned, we come to the Ton Ton no Mi, or the fruit of massive weight. This fruit was eaten by Machvis, one of the members of the Don Quixote Pirates, and it allows him to increase his weight and also float, thus becoming a super heavy human. Next, we have a fruit that seems to have been reproduced and placed into one of our most recently discovered Pacifista, or Seraphim, and that is the Sui Sui no Mi, or Swim Swim Fruit. This fruit was used by Mr. Pink, and with it, he can swim and dive through any solid object as if it were water, giving him an amazing amount of mobility, reaching his targets or to even escape out of any dangerous situation. Our next fruit is the Hirohira no Mi, or Fruit of the Flag. This was eaten by Diamond, and the fruit grants him the power to transform anything he touches into a flag-like cloth, where the object will unfold just like a flag. This is another one of those fruits that, if used properly, could be a fight-ending power, but we've never been able to see how this fruit could be used to its greatest effect. Next, we have the Ishi Ishi no Mi, or Stone Stone Fruit, and this was used by the very imposing Pika. With this fruit, he is capable of completely encasing his body in very rigid rock, and can grow to colossal sizes, giving him the ability to transform himself into a giant construct in order to be able to attack his opponents. The next fruit we'll talk about is owned by one of the most favorite villains that we've ever 
ever had in the story of One Piece. And that, of course, is the Itu Ito no Mi, or String String Fruit. This fruit is owned by Don Quixote do Flamingo, and with it, he can produce threads from his body that are used to create clones, trap enemies, and through his awakening, he can even turn the whole world into string. Not only that, he's also able to use it to repair himself and even swing across the clouds as if he is flying. Our next fruit is owned by another member of the Don Quixote family, and that's the fruit owned by Don Quixote Rosanate, being the Nagi Nagi no Mi, or Fruit of Silence. While Rosanate had it, he became capable of creating a radius where everything became silent, where he can silence himself and even silence those around him. Moving on to a very, very useful fruit, we come to the Chio Chio no Mi, or the Fruit of Healing. The owner of this fruit is Mansheri, the queen of the Tuntata tribe, and with this fruit, she can heal any wound in a matter of seconds. Although, the greater the wound she heals, the more energy it takes from her own body. The next fruit we're going to talk about is one that has a little bit of mystery around it, because right now, we don't know if the current user is dead and whether or not it'll show up again. The fruit, of course, we're talking about is the Soro Soro no Mi, or Soul Soul Fruit. At first, this fruit was owned by Mother Carmel, but after she lost her life by being eaten, the power was then transferred to Charlotte Linlin, inheriting the powers of the former owner. This fruit allows the user to freely manipulate and interact with human souls, and can also create any kind of being, or what was called a homie in the story, that can be used in combat, giving the bearer the possibility to take souls from anyone and even them themselves to bring something to life. The one hitch of this fruit is that it seems that the person that is going to give the soul to Big Mom either has to give it willingly or they have to be afraid of her. Should someone not have any fear of her, it seems that the fruit has no effect. Continuing with fruits that we find in the Big Mom family, we come to the Tama Tama no Mi, or Egg Egg Fruit. This was eaten by Tamago, one of Big Mom's crew members, and with it, Tamago gains the ability to transform his entire body composition to that of an egg, and the user can even evolve into a humanoid chick. Being one fruit that kind of skirts the edge of Paramecia and Zoan. Our next fruit that we'll talk about from the Big Mom Pirates is the Mira Mira no Mi, or Mirror Fruit. This is currently owned by Charlotte Brulé, Big Mom's daughter, and with this fruit, she is able to create a dimension that she can travel to through mirrors. And she can even connect mirrors throughout the entire island of Whole Cake and any mirror that is near her. It was in this mirror dimension where Luffy and Katakuri had their epic duel and where they went from enemies to perhaps rivals and respected friends. The next fruit from the Big Mom Pirates that we'll talk about is the Pera Pera no Mi, or Lick Lick Fruit. This is currently owned by Charlotte Prospero, and it gives them the ability to produce candy, which can be thrown at their enemies, used as projectiles, or even to create massive waves that can immobilize their opponents. Next, we have the Biso Biso no Mi, or Bis Bis Fruit, and this is owned by Cracker, one of Big Mom's strongest sons. And this fruit gives him the power to produce crackers or cookies almost infinitely, enabling him to create an army of cracker or cookie men. Next, we have the Bata Bata no Mi, or Butter fruit. This is another food-related fruit that is in possession of Charlotte Galette, another daughter of Big Mom's. With this power, she can produce butter as much as she pleases and can be used to immobilize her opponents as well as to get through certain places, turning her body or opponents' bodies into something rather smooth. After butters, we turn to books, and we come to the Buku Buku no Mi, or Fruit of the Book. This was eaten by Charlotte Montior, who can manipulate books and also creates a huge book to imprison their opponents, and can then just throw several books at their opponents to hinder them. Next, we have the Curry Curry no Mi, or Cream Cream Fruit. This fruit is owned by Charlotte Opera, another son of Big Mom's, and with this power, he becomes able to produce cream at will, thus becoming a cream man, as well as being able to become a large cream monster. The next child of Big Mom's fruit that we'll talk about is the Shino Shino no Mi, or Squeeze Fruit. This is owned by Charlotte Smoothie, who can drain the liquid from both living and non-living things, and with this power, she can squeeze humans until there is nothing left inside of them, squeezing all of the liquid out of their bodies. Next, we have the Memo Memo no Mi, or Memo memory fruit. The user of this fruit is Charlotte Pudding who possesses the powers of memory, being able to access all the memories of anyone she can put her hands on, where she can remove memories that she wants from her victim, or just cut out the parts that she doesn't want them to remember. Something that is very powerful, but we also wonder how permanent the effects are, because it seemed that even after removing part of Sanji's memory, he seemed to still have a sense that something had transpired between the two of them. Another interesting fruit in the Charlotte family is the Hoya Hoya no Mi, or Fruit of Genies. This is in the possession of Charlotte Daifuku, where he can summon a genie 
made from a lamp with just a few rubs. And this genie helps him during combat by being able to throw very powerful punches and axe attacks at his opponents. Moving on, we have the Netsu Netsunomi, or Heat Fruit. And this is used by Charlotte Oven, where he can transform himself into a heat man, able to exude extremely high temperatures from his body, allowing him to melt anything, even hot enough to boil seawater over a large area. Our next fruit coming from the Charlotte family is the Kuko Kuko no Mi, or food fruit. With this fruit, the owner, Strusen, can turn any object into food. For example, cutting a wood log into meat or building into a giant cake. Strusen doesn't seem to be limited to what kind of food he can make, although it does seem that the food doesn't taste quite as good as the real one if it were made from scratch. Our second to last fruit that is controlled by the Charlotte family is the Gacha Gacha no Mi, or fruit of the mix. With this power, Big Mom's son, Charlotte Nushi, can fuse himself with anyone he approaches, allowing him to transform into a large creature if he unites with many people. Quite a disgusting fruit, but yet still very functional in battle. And of course, when discussing all of the devil fruits that are owned by the Charlotte family, one cannot talk about it without ending on the Mochi Mochi no Mi, otherwise known as the Mochi Fruit, the first of a special Paramecia class that we'd ever heard about in One Piece. The user of this fruit is the ruthless Charlotte Katakuri, who can use Mochi, which in his case is very much like a candy, to attack their opponents, and that's something that's very similar to Luffy's stretching ability. Through the awakening of this fruit, it gives the user Logia-like characteristics, where Katakuri can mold his body in such a way that it almost gives a sense of false intangibility. With the use of Katakuri's hockey and Future Sight, he is able to mold his body in a way where strikes don't hit him, causing enemies to confuse the type of fruit that he even possesses. Moving on from the Charlotte fan, we'll talk about a couple of the fruits owned by revolutionaries, and we'll start with the Oshi Oshi no Mi, otherwise known as the Push Push Fruit. This fruit is currently owned by Morlu, who can push solid structures around as if they were made of a jelly or even seem to dissolve at his touch, allowing him to alter the environment and make it impossible for anyone to stand on the ground that he touches. During the revolutionaries' infiltration of Marjoa, we saw that Morley could create little pockets underneath the ground that the revolutionaries could stay in to keep themselves undetected. The next fruit we'll talk about is the Kobu Kobu no Mi, or Fruit of Inspiration. This is also used by a revolutionary known as Bello Betty, and she can inspire and motivate anyone around her through her words, giving them strength and stamina and speed, riling a crowd up that could otherwise be tired and worn out from battle. The next fruit we're going to talk about was key to the allied forces being able to win in the Battle of Onigashima, and that of course is the Kibi Kibi no Mi, or Dango fruit. This fruit is used by Otama, resident of Wano, and with it she can pull dangos, or small dumplings from her cheek, and once an animal ingests this candy, she becomes a subordinate of Otama. In the attack on Onigashima, it was discovered that the Kibi Dango was especially effective against Smile users, where they were ineffective against regular Zoan. It was this fruit that allowed the allied forces to turn the tide in their favor and eventually win the day in the Battle of Onigashima. Speaking of fruits related to the country of Wano, we come to the Toki Toki no Mi, or Time Fruit. The user of this fruit was Toki, who with this power could only travel into the future, regardless of how many years ahead she wanted to be. With it, she was also able to send Momonosuke and the rest of the scabbards forward in time, where they would be ready for those that would come to reopen the borders of Wano. It's still unknown if Toki actually lost her life as Kazuki Castle burned, so we don't know if this fruit will appear in the future, or if Toki herself will appear some time later, waiting to see and hear all of the great news of how everything panned out in Wano. The last fruit that we'll talk about from Wano is the Juku Juku no Mi, or ripening fruit. The user of this is the Ninja Shinobu, where she can make any person or object older. For example, she can mature a floor until it completely wears out and disintegrates, and she can even age up a person. And it was of course this fruit where she was able to age Momonosuke to an adult and thus turn his dragon into a full-size dragon, capable of fighting Kaido and keeping Onigashima aloft in the sky. Moving on from Wano, we'll next talk about a few fruits that we have just seen used by some members of Blackbeard's Pirates. And we're going to start with the Riki Riki no Mi, otherwise known as the Strength Strength Fruit. This fruit is used by Jesus Burgess, one of Blackbeard's Pirate Commanders. And this fruit gives him incredible raw strength, where he can lift an entire mountain without any problem, and can throw it over great distances. Our next fruit is owned by another commander in Blackbeard's crew, and that is the Wapu Wapu no Mi, or Teleportation Fruit. This was eaten by Van Auger, and with it, he can teleport both himself and other people to other places, giving him incredible mobility and making it impossible to be caught by any attack. The last fruit that we know of that is owned by the Blackbeard crew 
is the Shiku Shiku no Mi, otherwise known as the fruit of disease. This fruit is currently in the possession of Doc Q. He can infect a person with diseases and even change the gender of that person, causing men to have their body modified, becoming a woman. But we did see that if the person changed has incredibly strong hockey, they can reverse the effects of Doc Q's fruit. Our next couple of fruits are owned by Straw Hat crew members, and the first of which we'll talk about is the Hana Hana no Mi, or flower flower fruit. This fruit is used by Nico Robin, and its powers are not very similar to its name, because the fruit allows Robin to replicate and sprout body parts from any surface or living object or thing. This fruit makes it possible for the user to make giant hands, or feet, or webs, or wings, or even larger versions of themselves in order to deliver powerful attacks. Our other fruit from the crew is the Yummy Yummy no Mi, or Resurrection Fruit. This fruit was eaten by Brooke, and until a person passes away, the fruit ability doesn't come to pass. But what it did is it granted the user the ability to come back to life. Although Brooke is now able to take his soul out of his body, enabling him to infiltrate anywhere he wishes. As we wrap up the last several fruits on our list, we're gonna go ahead and cover a few more that are owned by supernovas. The first of which being the Jiki Jiki no Mi, or Fruit of Magnetism. This fruit is currently in the possession of Eustace Kit, and he is able to manipulate metal and magnetism in any way he wants, where he can attract or repel, and even gives him the ability to create an arm and other objects with his magnetic powers. During the battle at Onigashima, we learned that Kid had also awakened his fruit, and it gave him the ability to attach magnetism of attraction or repulsion to any object or person he touched, thus turning Big Mom into an attractive force, pulling all kinds of metal towards her. The last four on our Paramecia list are going to be devil fruits that have appeared but not had their names revealed yet, but we still feel that in order to make a complete list, we want to mention them here. The first fruit we'll talk about is the one that is owned by Jewelry Bonnie, where she is able to alter her age to that of whatever age she wants, to an older form, or even to that of a baby. And recently in the manga, we saw that she was even able to manipulate the ages of others, turning Luffy into and Chopper into very old versions, and Jinbei into a child. Next, we have the fruit of muscle mass that is owned by a Rouge, where it seems that he can increase the proportions of his muscles and his size, causing him to surpass even Kuma's height. A Rouge is a character that we've wondered when we might see him reappear in our story, especially since we saw him during the Sabati arc, and we haven't really seen much of him since. Another fruit that we saw quite a bit of during the Battle of Onigashima, but yet still hasn't been named, is the fruit that is owned by Scratchman and Pooh, where he is able to transform his body into various musical instruments and inflict damage on his opponents through sound. However, it seems that it is limited that his opponents must be able to hear the sounds that he makes. One other fruit that hasn't been officially named, and therefore we can't go much further into depth with, is one that was revealed recently and is owned by Dr. Vegapunk, being a brain brain fruit, where it seems that it gives him unlimited storage capacity. And in these most recent chapters, we hope to learn a bit more about the abilities this fruit has. And our final fruit of the list could be referred to as the fruit of growth. This was eaten by San Juan Wolf, who was already a giant, but after eating this fruit, he became even bigger, becoming one of the tallest and largest beings in all of the One Piece universe. But with all that covered, my friends, those are all the devil fruits that we've learned about so far in the story of One Piece. Now, before you leave, we'd like to thank you so much because this is one of our longest videos to date that we've posted on our channel. So before you leave, we'd like to humbly ask that you leave a like below and also subscribe to the channel. Before you head out to take on the rest of your day, make sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in other videos below in the comments. And let us know what you think about this longer video format and if you'd like to see us produce some more in the future. So in closing, we hope to see you all in our next video and make sure we keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.